The Maxisys ATIS tablet provides comprehensive coverage of ATIS calibrations, along with the advanced diagnostics capabilities and time-saving automotive service features for which the Autel's Maxisys line of tablets are known. A lane change assist, side assist, system calibration is necessary when. This video will demonstrate how to calibrate the lane change assist, side assist system on equipped Volkswagen vehicles. Vehicle preparation. Set up and perform the calibration frame leveling procedure by following these steps. Attach the VCI to the vehicle and turn on the vehicle's ignition, ignition on, engine off. Connect the diagnostic tool to the vehicle. Tap Diagnostic. Tap the Auto VIN button on the tablet display to read the vehicle's identification number and identify the vehicle model and equipped systems. Select ATIS Calibrate. Tap Lane Change Assistant. Please note, the vehicle manufacturer may market this system by another name. These vehicle preparation measures vary by vehicle and system. Please follow the preparation instructions on the Maxisys tablet to ensure accurate calibration. Place the calibration frame. The following tools are required. Autel's calibration frame, radar calibration box, two wheel clamps, two lasers, 24 volt power adapter and tape measure. Move the calibration frame so it is behind the vehicle. The frame must be positioned on level ground. Remove the pattern board if attached to the frame. Rotate the fine tuning bolt to align the marked lines. Loosen the handle and rotate the fine tuning bolt until the scale value is zero. Tighten the handle to secure the crossbar. Position the red pointer on the sliding plate at zero and tighten the bolt to secure the sliding plate. Turn on the laser and aim the beam at the rear center of the vehicle. Adjust the height of the crossbar so that it is level with the center of the rear wheel. Position the frame so it is at the specified distance from the center of the left and right wheels. The correct distance for the vehicle is displayed on the Maxisys tablet in the Help section. Use the measuring tape to ensure each side of the frame is at the correct and equal distance. The beam of the laser should be pointed at the rear center of the vehicle. Note, do not move the crossbar while adjusting the distance. Once the frame is positioned correctly, turn off the laser. Rotate the bolts on the base until they are secured to the ground. Do not over tighten. Attach the wheel clamps to the rear wheels of the vehicle by placing the pawls outside the wheel rim and tighten. Ensure the wheel clamps are firmly secured to the wheels. Insert the connecting shaft of the laser into the clamp port. The laser calibration board should be facing the rear of the vehicle. Tighten the bolt to secure the laser. Turn on the attached lasers and adjust them so the beams light the rulers on each side of the crossbar cover plate. Loosen the handle and rotate the fine tuning bolt until the rulers on each side of the crossbar plate have the same value lit by the laser. Tighten the handle to secure the crossbar. Lift the cover plates on each end of the crossbar to expose the mirrors. Attach to the rear wheels to control the up and down movement of lasers. The reflected laser light on at least one side must shine on the scale board of the coordinate board. Rotate the bolt left or right until the scale values lit by the reflected beam are the same on each side of the bar. Now the calibration frame is parallel to the vehicle. Close the cover plates on the crossbar. Power off lasers on the attached wheel clamps and remove clamps from wheels. Start the lane change assistant calibration. Do not open or close doors during calibration. 
Attach the radar calibration box onto the sliding plate of the calibration frame. Ensure the radar box and the calibration frame are level by referencing the bubble levels on the radar box. Rotate the anchor bolts on the base of the calibration frame until the frame and box are level. Plug the included power cord into the radar calibration box. Turn on the switch. The red LED will light when the unit is powered. Wait approximately 10 seconds until the green LED lights and tap OK on the tablet display. Pull the bolt on the top of the ruler and allow it to touch the ground. The height of the crossbar can be adjusted by either turning the adjustment wheel or pressing the up or down buttons on the frame. The tablet will display the proper height for the calibration of the specific vehicle. Adjust the height of the crossbar so the red pointer aligns with the specified value on the A side of the ruler. Secure the ruler to its original position on the frame. Follow the directions displayed on the tablet to initiate the calibration of the left control unit. Stand facing the frame with your back to the vehicle. Slide the radar calibration box on the crossbar to the left of the vehicle. Align the red pointer on the back of the sliding plate to the specified value on the black ruler on the crossbar. The tablet will display the correct value. Rotate all the bolts on the base of the calibration frame to reference the spirit level by keeping the bubble at the center of the level. Tap OK. Turn the vehicle ignition off and then on. Tap OK when the message on the tablet displays the calibration is successful. Calibrate the right control unit using the same procedure. Move the radar calibration box to the right of the vehicle. The red pointer on the sliding plate should be positioned at the specified value on the crossbar ruler. The tablet will display the correct value. Tap OK when the message on the tablet displays the calibration is successful. Turn off the vehicle ignition. Wait 10 seconds. Turn the ignition on. Tap OK on the tablet display. The message will display the control unit calibration is successful. The calibration of the Volkswagen Lane Change Assistance System is completed. The message, Control Unit Calibration Successful message, will display. If you have any questions or concerns about this procedure, please contact our Autel support team. Thank you for watching this video and for being a valued Autel customer.